Democrats sweat Tuesday's elections in Virginia, New Jersey, and New York, which are already blue states, so it's a small victory for liberals, but a victory nonetheless. Kind of like when you get an Uber and the driver's white, and you're like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> you know it's racist, but you don't know on which side, right? <laughs> Also on Tuesday, Danica Rome became the first transgender candidate to win a seat in Virginia's House of Delegates, defeating Bob Marshall. That's right. She defeated Bob Marshall, who called himself the state's chief homophobe. And in fact, he's so homophobic, he refused to get within eight points of her. It was reported that Mike Pence has formed a vice president's club with Joe Biden and Dick Cheney routinely calling them for advice. Well, that sounds like a stupid club, said Al Gore to no one. <laughs> a man in Florida was surprised. Sorry, how... Michael, sorry to interrupt, Michael. Uh, Tiffany had a request. <clears throat> what? She's your queen to be. I told John I was gonna wear this dress again. Sean Combs announced that he is once again changing his name, this time to Brother Love, as in, damn, this brother love attention. <laughs> the state of Vermont has officially recognized ultimate Frisbee as a high school varsity sport. Dad? <laughs> that was good. Hidden Valley is now selling a five-liter keg filled with ranch dressing. Though the keg will only be sold in states that allow assisted suicide. A new study finds that sheep have the ability to recognize faces. So remember, farmers, always hit it from the back. O.J. Simpson's parole... <laughs> I needed to catch up to it. <laughs> O.J. Simpson's parole may be revoked after he was thrown out of a Las Vegas hotel bar for being too drunk and throwing glasses. But come on, give him a break. I mean, you'd drink a lot, too, if your ex-wife was murdered. <laughs> well, archaeologists in Egypt have discovered a 2,000-year-old gymnasium which featured a workout room, a racetrack, and based on my experience in gyms, the remains of an old man blow-drying his testicles. <laughs> Where do you work out, man? <laughs> the NBA season is two weeks in, and the Los Angeles Lakers are off to a good but not great start, led by rookie Lonzo Ball. Here to give his take is Lonzo's outspoken father, LeVar Ball. <laughs> How you doing, Michael? I told you it would happen. The Lakers are the best team ever. Never lost. They're not the best team ever. They're only five and seven. And you already promised that Lonzo would be bigger than Kobe Bryant? You're damn right. <laughs> Lonzo is averaging just over eight points a game. I mean, that's not bad, but that's not up to the level of Kobe Bryant. Man, <laughs> talk to me about no Kobe Bryant. My offspring is going to rule the world. Just look at me. I am a giant. All right. Full head of hair. <laughs> Twelve fingers. <laughs> I can pull a tractor trailer 20 miles over a mountain using only my gut. <laughs> and I'm the only man on earth who's ever eaten just one Lay's potato chip. <laughs> so I'm, assume, I'm assuming that you still think that Lonzo's gonna win MVP. Oh, man, he's gonna win more than that. He's gonna win the dunk contest, the three-point shooting contest, every single Powerball jackpot, <laughs> and he'll be named America's next top model. <laughs> All while wearing his signature, Zotus. <laughs> All right, I forgot. Alonzo uh, already has his own sneakers that cost $500. How are those selling, by the way? None of your business. Okay. <laughs> right now, I'm focused on my TV show, Ball in the Family. Oh, yeah, is that the show that airs on uh, Facebook? You're damn right it's on Facebook. Because <laughs> it's the biggest show in the world. One million likes. A half million surprising faces. And it's the only show you can watch while you also look at your friend's kid's Halloween costume. <laughs> the whole Vaughn family is on there. Lonzo, Leangelo, Lamello, <laughs> and my long-lost Mexican son, Le Taco. 
Yeah, I saw Leangelo got into a little trouble this week when he was caught shoplifting in China. What? <laughs> Come on. Why my boy need to do shoplifting for when he's just about to put out his own million dollar sneaker? Introducing Leangelo's The Jello 20s. <laughs> <laughs> One costs seven hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> That's right. Each sneaker, you can only buy them one at a time. <laughs> Never a pair. Never a pair. <laughs> Why are they so expensive? Cause each Legello Twenty comes fully loaded with power laces, a Bose twenty-four speaker sound system, <laughs> and the world's finest chicken rotisserie cooker. <laughs> A, a rotisserie cooker. Chicken rotisserie. <laughs> I, I also heard that you pulled LaMelo out of school and you're homeschooling him now? Oh, that's right. And the results are amazing. I worked with that boy for only two hours and he opened his own successful business. A French restaurant called LaMelo's Le Magnificent. <laughs> Michelin 10 star rating. <laughs> and the best rotisserie chicken <laughs> by the new Nigello 20s. <laughs> It's ready, Michael. <laughs> Thank you. That's for you. Uh, that'll be seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars, please. Lamar Ball, everybody. Name of the house. We get up there, Michael Chain. I'm Colin Jones. Good night. You want